Imagine a world where numbers never end. Where infinity isn't just a word, but a weapon. One man, hidden in the shadows of war and poverty, cracked open the secret code of the universe, using only a notebook and his mind. He had no degree, no lab, no teacher, and yet he changed math forever. Today, his ideas run inside every machine you touch, every rocket that flies, every secret the universe dares to keep. This is not just the story of a genius, this is the story of a mind that bent reality. This is Stefan Banach. Stefan Banach never knew his mother. His father, a soldier, vanished into war. The boy was passed from hand to hand, raised by people who weren't family. He didn't stand out, not loud, not strong, but inside his head, numbers danced. Problems solved themselves. School bored him, so he created a world of his own. With no textbooks, no guidance, he filled notebooks with problems no teacher could solve. He was a teenager, doing math no one had taught him. One day, two professors spotted strange math scrawled on a napkin. It didn't look like a student's work, it looked like something deeper. They called him over, they looked at his work, they didn't laugh, they didn't dismiss him. For the first time, someone saw him. And then, chaos. War came, bombs dropped, dreams exploded. Banach was pulled into labor, his mind forced to wait. While others saw rubble, he saw theorems. He wrote math on the walls of destruction. Every spare second he solved, he dreamed. War tried to erase him, but his mind couldn't be silenced. He had no title, no degree, no future, just genius. And someone finally noticed. No classroom, no chalkboard, just a park bench and an obsession. This was Banach's university. One evening, a famous mathematician heard something odd. A word that shouldn't come from the lips of park rats. He followed the sound and found Banach. They tested him and watched in silence as he outpaced their questions. He didn't answer like a student. He answered like he built the math himself. They broke the rules for him. No classes, no exams, just brilliance. He became a professor before ever being a student. He created a new world, a world of shapes, not like circles or squares, but spaces of functions. Infinity made solid. He didn't teach in classrooms. He taught in cafes, on napkins, on cigarette boxes. A new generation of thinkers gathered at his table. He wrote a book that would rewire math across the globe. one that scientists, engineers, and dreamers still use a century later. He had risen from nothing, 
A boy of shadows, now a master of infinity. But dark clouds were coming, and this time they weren't just in his mind. September 1939, Poland falls. Luau is crushed under Nazi boots. The cafes go silent. The chalkboards are wiped clean. Banach is trapped. He was known, too known, and that made him dangerous. They made lists. His name was on one. To survive, he fed lice. Nazi scientists studied typhus and Banach pretended to help, but it wasn't science. It was camouflage. It was life or death. They kept thinking, kept writing, underground, secret. Every sound could mean the end, but the mind doesn't stop, even in terror. He returned once, just to see it, his classroom, empty. The war had stolen his voice, his audience, his purpose. He tried to reach the outside world. He wrote letters, mathematical cries for connection, and most were never sent. Most were destroyed. Banach had a son, a life, but war makes time melt. Every day, the same question, will I be taken today? Then something changed. A sound, a breath of hope. The monsters were retreating. And the mind that survived was still waiting to speak. The war ended. The city breathed again. And Banach, older, thinner, slower, returned. The board waited. So did the silence. The world had changed, but math didn't forget him. New minds came to learn from the man who once taught on napkins. His body gave in, but not his mind. In pain, in sickness, he still solved. Still dreamed, still wrote the future. Far from Poland, young minds were building worlds on the spaces he invented. They wrote to him, they thanked him. He was no longer alone. No crowd saw it, no fanfare. But he finished one last equation. His mind, even at the edge, still reached into forever. Stefan Banach died in August 1945. No medals, no riches, just a notebook and an idea that never stopped expanding. Today we use Banach spaces in everything from AI to quantum theory. Every time a machine learns, his ghost whispers in the math. He was born with nothing. He left behind infinity. If this story moved you, even a little, please consider liking the video, especially our loyal subscribers who see it first. It really helps the algorithm share it with more people who might need to hear it. And if it didn't resonate with you, we'd still love to hear your thoughts. Honest feedback helps us improve and make better content. If you'd like to see more stories like this, you know where to find us. You can also reach out on social media Links are on the screen and in the description. We'd love to connect. Thanks for being here. Stay thoughtful. Stay curious.